How y'all doing? This is my one-man show for Everman Theater, or whoever I'm getting ready to do it. I'm doing a one-man show about race and racism. We're saying goodnight to racism, all right? They put it in the book. I put it to life. Good night to racism. If you go directly to Governor Westmore today, get this paperwork. Governor Westmore got the book. He got my paperwork, too. We're saying good night to racism. Ex-felons got a right to vote. We got a right to run for office. We did our time. You can't keep criminalizing being black in America. That's quite easy saying for me. He asked for a federal investigation, social media for social change. That's Mark Clark in the Big Fat Morning Show. Yeah, Mark Clark in the Big Fat Morning Show when you first came to Baltimore. When you first came to Baltimore. We're going to say goodnight to racism because Mark Clark and them work for Fox 45. They demonizing black people. That's Rihanna and Shorty. We work with that toilet. This is Shorty. Falls Road, 2006, when I started this. Get Shorty. And you got Shorty. You got more Shorty than you can stand. That's Ray Lewis and Shorty at his restaurant. That's Bladen. That's Mark. That's Boom. Yeah, them the people that came together. That's Chev. Chev been knowing me since he was a little boy. Like I said, this is a rough cut for a one-man show. Are you ready for this? That's Sheila Dixon. We talk about Governor O'Malley and the mom machine. Sheila Dixon, Mayor Brandon Scott. So whoever won the race, you still got Governor O'Malley. I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States Navy, 77, 78, and 79. I'm retired now. I'm six. I'm I'm 64 years old. I'm the cook in Baltimore. All right. So if you go to Larry Hogan, get this information. I own shorties. I own all parts of me. Can't nobody sign my checks. None of that. I'm the cook in Baltimore, and I'm getting ready to feed you, feed you knowledge for those that don't go to college. That's zero, 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 all right? See the dates? I was locked up in another state. Nobody paid those taxes in the first four quarters, but y'all made $260,000 in my store, all right? These are the checks. So if y'all was writing checks and y'all was cashing checks, how come no money was paid? That's James Hammond, and that's not my signature. That's in June. I was locked up in another state right here, Lake County, Illinois. All right. Lake County, Illinois. See that? That's Natasha, the public defender. And that's me. I'm a vulnerable individual. Barbara Mikulski got that. Bill Ferguson got that. Johnny Oleski asked for an investigation. Y'all ain't did nothing yet. Raskin, Asselbrook, Hoyer. Y'all getting ready to elect these officials. And Sheila Dixon had this when she was Councilman Dixon, Council President. Governor O'Malley, get shorty, 2006. Remember that. That's Judge Carrion. Judge Carrion got this. And they banned me from the courthouse. Yeah, they kicked me out the courthouse. That's the police. You got to give me three warnings. That's James Hammond, shorty documentary. That's the Baltimore Sun, Brent Jones, ABC. Charles Gibson, World News Tonight, shorty documentary. And that's Chev when he used to work at my store on Falls Road. I'm the cook in Baltimore. Like I said, I'm getting ready to cook y'all up. That's Governor Westmore, shorty documentary. That's Hazel Norman. She died. She ain't here no more. See who that is? That's from the Maryland Volunteer Arts, Volunteer Lawyers for the Arts. All right. See who that is? That's who forged those checks. That's me. That's my son, Philip. Shorty documentary. If you go directly to Senator Benjamin Brooks, get my paperwork. He got all this. Senator Benjamin Brooks got it, and Governor Westmore got it. Like you said, like I said, we're going to say goodnight to racism. That's Shorty's self-help organization for the redevelopment and re-education of the young. I gave you the Shorty program. I gave you all parts of the program for the last 15, 20 years. I gave you religious callings, health care, construction, business, real estate, horticulture, and I was notarized. See that? 2010, before I got locked up. That's Mayor Brandon Scott? That's Mayor Brandon Scott. Like I said, you got to turn that information over. See the date? 2010. Where was you at in 2010, 
Yeah. Visual and performing arts, political involvement, photography, journalism, technology, design, law, sports, cultural exchanges. And I did all that. I did all that. Asshole work. Black lives matter. Black money matter more. Y'all got that black girl magic and it caused a lot of black men pain. See who that is? That's Adrian Jones. Y'all got to produce that paperwork. See who that is? Senator Ben Cardin's. You want Cardin's seat, so you got me as a, I'm. You inheriting me? Everything the Senator Cardin's got, you got to turn over and you got to start acting on that. That's Deborah Ray. See that? 2007. Dear Mr. Davis, in regards to your documentary, I will not be able to appear. Y'all part of the documentary, the party, the party and the machine, the rule. That's Governor Blagojevich, 2007. That's my storm falls road. Dear Mr. Davis. All right. See that? Governor Blagojevich. They told me to go to the judiciary. So I'm looking to go to the Supreme Court. I want exoneration of the Supreme Court in 2024. Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation. That's Senator Bill Ferguson. That's Brooke Learman. That's Brooke Learman. And these are our elected officials. You feel me? Barbara Mikulski had this. I gave it to Bill Henry. You feel me? These elected officials. I'm a political prisoner living in exile in my own country. Governor Westmore, Attorney General Anthony Brown, Eric Barron, President Biden. See that? That's Brooke Learman. That's Brooke Learman. That's Brooke Learman. We talking about $250 million in intellectual property theft. Ain't no law against making a movie. They made Baltimore the wire and y'all talked about the drug dealers and the prostitutes. Well, I made Baltimore Rewired, all about the politicians in the paper. Follow the money, man. And it's notarized. See that? Notarized. That's Marilyn Mosby. That's Marilyn Mosby. Marilyn Mosby going to come out of retirement and start snitching. If she don't want to go to jail for this, she can go to jail for that. We call it the RICO Act, when you got a conspiracy. You can't use your position of power to un 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 unlawful enrichment, unjust enrichment. See who that is? That's the Maryland Black Caucus. See who that is? That's Eric Barron from the Department of Justice. That's President Biden in the Department of Justice. That's Judge Badar. See that? Office. Wednesday, 2020, January 2023. See the players in the game? Grand jury and criminal charges. That's Ivan Bates. We're talking about the RICO Act. The same way that y'all went after Trump? Coming after the Democratic Party. The RICO Act. All of y'all is in this. Ain't no law against making a movie. Movies about you, Ivan Bates. You made the movie The Monster with Baynard Woods. Well, this one is about you. Social media for social change. Go to Ivan Bates and get that legal mail. You can't shield that. Elections is coming up. It's going to be scandalous. You, Sheila Dixon. Yeah. You and Sheila Dixon ain't going to make it. See who that is? That's Bill Ferguson. See the movies? The First Amendment. Letters Design. Get Shorty. Baltimore. Rewired. Letters to My Presidents. Being Black and White America. Trading Places with Schellenberger and Shorty. Governor Hogan and New George Wallace. All this is in his desk. You can't protect Governor Hogan. You got to make a choice. You going to defend the people in the Constitution or you going to protect the machine? This is like Operation Greylord in Chicago. You can go to jail. You can go directly to jail. You ain't going to collect $200. It's going to be hard to raise your kids when you locked up. Yeah, it's hard to raise your kids when you locked up. That's Xavier Conway. We got you too. You feel me? That's Xavier Conway, the clerk of the court. That's Bill Ferguson. That's Ivan Bates. And that's Ivan Bates. That's the Town Hall Community in Crisis, 2009, 1402 Lochner. Release all material to the voters. That's the rule when he was working for the Department of Justice. We talking about the Baltimore Sun, ABC, NBC, 98 Rock. See who that is? That's Peter Francott. We talking about the money behind the machine. See this? That's a witness list. I went home on vacation and came back on probation. I'm not Emmett Till. I never got a trial. I never got a trial. Y'all destroyed evidence. The state of Illinois destroyed evidence. Miss Leon. I'm not going to wait 50 years to get a trial. See that? That's Christmas Eve. 
Christmas Eve, you locked me up. I never got a trial. And that's right here, Maryland case, 07 CF4988. Just like Jesse Smullett, we're going to go to court. That's evidence. And the state's attorney's office got that February the 2nd. That means that Greg Bernstein, Marilyn Mosby, Ivan Bates, Eric Barron. Now, Kaylin Young got all my information. If you go to Kaylin Young, he got all that. That's my witness. So I ain't got no problems with Kaylin. That's a federal violation. See who got that? The Maryland Black Caucus. You can't use your positions of power to protect, to protect white supremacy. You stand for Tennessee, 2024, you're going to stand for me. Do your job or lose your job. See who that is? That's Xavier Conway, the clerk of the court. See who that is? Mayor Brandon Scott. That's Kerry Cogwa. Please allow 30 to 60 days for an investigation. All right? Nobody did the investigation. P.O. Box 38, Lake County, Illinois. I spent 186 days in jail illegally. That's me, 1402 Lochner. Governor O'Malley, Governor Quinn, Judge Bell, Snowden. Y'all all got that notarized in 2010 October 2000 no September 2010 these are the criminal charges means motive and opportunity y'all wanted to lock me up to shield this corruption but like I said it's all here on paper means motive and opportunity we ready for this because I'm getting ready to turn to the last page we're going to tie all this shit together we're getting ready to tie all this shit together we're going to say good night to racism. So, Governor Westmore, you going to make this a reality or you going to keep this a nightmare? You feel me? Because that's Governor Westmore right there. That's Governor Westmore. That's Governor Westmore. We're going to say good night to racism and hello to freedom.